Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to Think I Inspired for Desserts. Well, today we're going to be making this daisy cookies, and I'm going to be sharing you with you three designs. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, the first thing you need to do or to have or to make is your cookie dough. I do have the recipe on my channel. It's pretty simple, great flavor to it. So I'm just going to roll it so all my cookies have the, thing, the same thickness to them. And I'm going to be using my rolling pin spacer bands. I do have a tutorial on my channel on that as well. And I'm going to just cut the cookie dough into a square and a round shape using a cookie cutters. So let's move on to the designs. This is the first one and you just have to let your cookies, you know, bake them according to your instructions and stuff like that, then let them cool. And then we're going to start decorating. And to decorate, I'm using royal icing. And I have a recipe on my blog if you want to check it out. It's going to be a link below. It's pretty simple, honestly, the recipe. And I'm going to just start coloring black and I'm using a Ziploc bag to just um, make the outline and filling because it's easier for me. And I'm just going to then cover the, the surface and I'm going to just um, use my scrub tool to just remove any air bubble and, uh, you know, help distribute the icing equally. And I do have a tutorial as well. I'm going to put it down below. And then I'm going to let my icing dry and it took about 15 minutes or so. Using your Ziploc bag or your piping tip and your piping bag, whatever technique you use to, you know, pipe and stuff, just add five dots and um, kind of making them look like little flowers. And then kind of gather the pieces or the tiny dots together with your scribe tool to make them look like they are together and once you're done they're going to be the first ones that you added are going to be dry so you can go ahead and apply your part in the middle which is just jello royal icing and I'm, again i'm using a ziploc bag to do this and then again i'm going to use my scrap tool to just kind of smooth the the top and once you have done that you're just going to take some green royal icing and then we're going to start making the leaves it's kind of a uh, Add a small dot as close as the flower as you can and then kind of pull it towards you. And you can add as many as you want. I added some of them two and in some of them I just added one. This is going to kind of make the whole thing pop up and it's going to look cute and it's going to complete your design. So that's it for cookie design number one. So for the second and third design, the first thing I did is made this kind of template. I based myself honestly from two images that I saw online. Again, link is going to be below on my blog if you're interested in knowing where this comes from. So I'm going to start working with the kind of easier one, which is the second one. And with my scribe tool, made the, the drawing so I could have a template on the cookie so I could just go directly with the icing and just the least mistakes I could make. And this, this helped a lot. For this one, you just need to you know, cover the area, I'm starting with the black as you can see, first the outline and then kind of go drawing uh, the flower as you go. But the important part I guess is just to, you know, cover the edges. And I chose black because the, the image that I was referring to, the background was black and then the flowers were white. But if you want, you can go ahead and just choose any other color that you want. Blue, I think, would be, you know, lovely as well. Once my black royal icing was dry, went ahead with my white and then just uh, followed those lines, just filled the drawing of my flower, leaving the space in the middle empty because that's where my yellow, once my white icing was dry, came in and then let the whole thing dry. And then once my white part was dry, I felt like it looked like an egg and <laughs> I wanted it to look more like a flower rather than an egg. Went ahead and applied uh, lips, kind of more drawing this, this lips this time rather than just you know, pushing and pulling as I did before. This is the first time that I tried this. I wanted to try the brush and embroidery technique or however to pronounce it. So I just took a brush, dipped in some water, kind of applied a bit of that white icing on top of the petals. And then I kind of dragged the part that I just added of icing towards the center of the flower. And I just liked it. I went ahead and waited for that to dry and applied another coat of that. 
So the sign number three is pretty similar to sign number two. I did the same first drawing the, the shape on the cookie and then I added some leaves as you can see this time with the same scribe tool and then added the um, black background and then I just waited for this to dry and then I added my green leaves well the green icing for the leaves white for the flower then waited for this to dry then added the yellow part on the middle waited for that to dry and then I added the brush and brought it because I really like how it looks on the other cookies so I just went ahead and applied the same kind of pattern or design or technique or whatever this is and then because I felt like it needed something and I just for some reason wanted to add some polka dots to the design with my scribe tool I just removed the pointy parts on the top and that's pretty much all I wanted to share with you this three designs let me know which one you like the most and don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video or gave you some ideas and uh, don't forget to subscribe for next thank you guys Friday for the desserts and I'll talk to you in the next video bye guys thank you for watching take care